morning. I'm Mark Capel, and welcome to Long Island Travelers TV. This morning, we're headed north, 450 miles to the Aces Northern Regional. This is the fourth annual show up there, and it's hosted by the Can-Am Chevelle Club. And those ca Canadians sure do know how to put on a party. So stay with us as we travel north, right outside Niagara Falls to Grand Island, New York. A perfect place for a Chevelle show, and this is the fourth annual Aces Northern Gathering. Welcome back to Long Island Chevelle's TV. Well, we took the 450 miles up to uh, Grand Island, New York. This is 10 minutes from Niagara Falls and the, uh, the U.S. Canadian border. Artie's back here cleaning off his car. Um, I got a little cleaning to do on mine. Uh, today's Friday up here at the Northern Regional, and Friday's a real relaxed day. Uh, it's registration day, and this afternoon we'll bring the cars over and we'll get registered. Um, what makes this trip something uh, fun for the whole family is that uh, at night you can either do some bench racing here in the hotel parking lot. They have live bands each night. And um, some of us, like last night, we took a trip into Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. And there's a lot to do and see there, and they, the kids have a real good time. Um, today we'll do a little go-kart racing here on Grand Island. And then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll register for the show. Uh, we'll have a little informal show and shine in the show area. And then it's off to the Paddock Super Cruise. Uh, we'll be back in a little while, and we'll, uh, we'll show you the show field setting up, and then we'll be off to the Paddock Super Cruise. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Don Lightfoot from Kingston, Ontario, part of the uh, Can-Am Chevelle Club. We're here in Niagara Falls, New York, at the fourth annual Northern Chevelle Gathering. And we expect about 140 cars, a lot going on all weekend, cruises, show and shine, etc. And it looks like the weekend's going to be great weather-wise. We're looking forward to having a lot of fun. Thank you. Welcome back to Long Island Chevelle's TV. Uh, tonight, as part of the, the fourth annual ACES Northern Gathering, we're at the Paddock Chevrolet Super Cruise. This is in Kenmore, New York, just about uh, 10 minutes or so from the showgrounds and the hotels where uh, everybody is assembled for the Northern Gathering. Here at the Paddock Super Cruise, it's like your local cruise in on steroids. About four to 500 cars, they shut the street down for about six or seven blocks, all around Paddock Chevrolet, which is uh, the local dealership up, up in uh, Kenmore, New York. And not only is it a cruise, but they have vendors out on the streets, and they uh, they actually make it a car show where every participant gets a, a gift item for bringing their car to the show. They sign a registration, it's, it's free of charge, and they get to vote. And they'll send judges around, and they'll have people's choice voting, and they'll be given trophies and awards out at the end of the night. It's, it's a car show and a cruise in wrapped up to, into a little three-hour package, and the streets are shut down, the cars are parked in every lot and every spot in the street, and it's just, it's an incredible super cruise. There's no other way to describe it except super cruise. So uh, we'll spend a little while down here and uh, show you what we see at the Paddock Chevy Super Cruise.
Got a couple of shows coming up. Paddock Chevrolet and uh, Amalgamized UAW Local 686 is putting on their ninth annual Buy American Day and their eighth annual cruise. That's going to be at uh, 524 Roland Street up in Lockport on Saturday, September 9th. Welcome back to Long Island Chevelles TV. Uh, today is show day here at the 4th Annual Northern Regional, and I'm here with uh, Gene Chess, president of the Can-Am Chevelle Club. Gene, uh, what do you think about the show so far today? Well, i tell you one thing. My prayers don't usually get answered. We've got blue skies on the clouds in sight, not too hot, not too humid. It's beautiful. Beautiful morning. That's great. Um, it's early yet. Uh, cars are still rolling in. How many cars do you expect uh, for the big show today? Well, they're over 150, we'd say. Wow, that's... Uh, that's some good numbers compared to uh, some of the past years. Right? Our best show is 155, and I hope you eclipse that number this morning. Yep, exactly. Well, let me tell you, this has been a, a weekend that uh, we always look forward to. We make it a family weekend and bring everybody up and have a good time around Niagara Falls. Sometimes those Canadians give us a hard time, but they, they, the Canadians had us out late here last night, and we're feeling it this morning. Well, the trouble with Canadians is they're professional drinkers, so when you tangle up with them, man, you got to be ready for anything. Uh, we love having you all come up here. It's just wonderful. I'm, I'm glad the area is, there's so much to do. We try to show you a lot of hospitality up here. Um, people from down south think we're off from New York, and we're a little bit different up here, or us backwoods kids, but uh, we're really happy to have you all come up here. It's a wonderful show in a wonderful area, and we're glad you're here. Well, thanks, Gene. Maybe we'll chat later. Uh, stay with us as we uh, will travel around the show field, and, and everybody's cleaning up their cars, and uh, we'll cover the whole event today. We're back with Long Island Chevelles TV here, Rob, with the 66 Chevelle Malibu. And underneath we have... Evelyn Gillis. Evelyn Gillis from... Lemberty, Maryland. Lemberty, Maryland, cleaning the car. Uh, how long have you owned the car for? Almost 12 years. 12 years now. You did the restoration or...? No, it was like 80% done. 80% done. So, Rob, basically, you did a, a, a finished restoration on this car. Evelyn, I've been here for three years in a row now, spent it's probably two out of the three days of the show cleaning the car from top to bottom. Is this trail, Evelyn? <laughs> yes, because I drive it. Oh, not a trail cleaner, folks. This is a daily driver. Yep. So, back to you at Long Island Chevelles TV. Visit us at longislandchevelles.com. 
Good afternoon. No, we're, at the pool. we're at the uh, no, car show, the Canon car show. We got the kids here right. making some uh, snow cones. So we got an inverter, up the Rob's battery. We got a cord there. We got the snow cone maker. A little ice in there. And uh, kids stay nice and cool. And I think all the props are going to be eaten in a little while anyway. <laughs> I don't want to reach it. I just don't know. Now that's, that's a good piece of equipment. And that lens goes from 28 to 200. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh cool! Well, we had great weather today. Uh, the show cars are in, all the voting is done, and uh, it's it's around 5.30, and what we do now is we line up for a big monster cruise. Uh, probably about 80% of the cars that showed up today, of the 148 that we hit today, will go on this cruise. And this cruise takes us around Grand Island. We get up to a little bit of speed. We do a nice uh, parade speed for a while, but it's a real nice cruise of about 100, 125 Chevelles. Uh, it's a real good time. It's a great way to end out a, a picture-perfect day here in Grand Island, New York, right outside of Niagara Falls. Uh, after the cruise, probably grab a bite to eat. I hear that they have a uh, uh, having a big wing party in the parking lot. Uh, they ordered in wings from the original Buffalo Wing Place and uh, and then it's bench racing in the parking lot and uh, and, and that's how it goes here at the uh, Can-Am Northern Regional. This is an Aces Regional event. It's the fourth annual Can-Am event and uh, we're here up in Grand Island, New York. Stay with us. So Rob, as we take the uh, cruise over on the Grand Island over here, why don't you give us a little briefing? Well, uh, Grand Island, when we first started coming here, was uh, was almost uh, an area that really wasn't developed too much. There was a lot of homes, but some of them were empty. The, there were stores, strip malls, and things that were empty, but uh, it started to really build up, and it, it's become almost a resort community, and uh, there's a lot of year-round residents, a lot of seasonal residents, and. Um, and it's really a great place in the short summers that they have up here near, uh, right outside of Buffalo. Um, Grand Island sits right in the middle of the Niagara River between Buffalo and Tonawanda. And, um, and it's, it's a real great place for a show. It seems like a nice place to vacation or to, to raise a family. But we like to take this cruise um, through the, uh, the countryside, so to speak, on the island. Um, a lot of the cruise is waterfront. Uh, most of the homes here are waterfront. And, um, and it's a nice about it's about a 40 minute drive to, to do a lap around the entire island and um it, it's a nice it's a nice fun ride you get to stack up with the chevelles a little bit you look ahead of you and all you see is chevelles and back all you see is chevelles and it's it's a lot of fun it gives you chills sometimes when you see so many 
you know, Chevelle is up ahead of you making the same turn, and then we all lay into it on the straightaways. It's, it's, a, it's a nice cruise. We have a good time doing it every year. Chevelle SS, 
Bill Rose. I was reflecting with Don Lightfoot last night about it. it's just this year, it was five years ago, that kind of a bunch of us got together and started it up. And uh, it's been amazing what this is growing into and the new friendships. And the one thing I remark about this year is a lot of new people here. And I've talked to a few of you, and I'm sorry I didn't get to talk to all of you, but I, I've been hearing a lot of great things about how friendly everyone is and new friendships made. And that's the thing that really keeps me coming back and putting work into this club. And I hope to see all you new people here again next year. Tell me this is the top four of the show. Uh, it's the president's favorite. Um, for those of you that know me, the older I get, the smarter I get, the less ego I have. Um, I keep it locked in a box. When I need it, I, I, um, I use it, and then I put it back in the boxes. When you run a show, especially, it's a very selfless type of thing. You know, there's no favoritism and all that. Um, but to dovetail off what Ron said, we drove our cars to Chuck's show in Nashville, and that's how this thing all came about. Um, I've said this to someone recently. Half the fun of my car is driving, and I don't mind getting in it and driving from 2 to 12 hours straight, 3,400 RPM, hearing my 16 lifters and tapping away. I love that. I absolutely love that. I don't know why, but I do. The other half of the, the pleasure of my car is what happens at the end of the line. The people I meet, the fun times I have. So it was hard for me to pick. All those fresh cars out there, hard for me to pick um, which car was my favorite car out there. Uh, but I guess one rule, and this is my personal subjective opinion, it's not really a value judgment, but my opinion, you got to drive it. You have to drive the car for me to pick it anyways. And that's just my opinion. I guess that's, that's the president's choice is. So as I look through all those fresh cars out there, and there are some beauties out there, um, the, one I, the first time I saw the car, and it's not my favorite year, by the way. Not my favorite year. First time I saw the car, he hops out of the parking lot and gets right on it. And I'm like, okay, it's 454 all right, I know that. Probably now a six car, because I can hear the tap. And then the second time I look at the car, I realize this is one of the most meticulous cars I've ever laid eyes on. It's taken this gentleman 10 years to complete this project. President Spraven, our top award this year, goes to Dave Balsarek from Hamburg, New York, with the 70 Chevelle LS6. <laughs> ceremony. Uh, the show's over. People are packing up and pretty soon we'll be pushing this super fast white 70 out of the uh, lobby of the Holiday Inn here in Grand Island. <laughs> um, we had a real great time. The weather was great. Uh, a lot of guys took part in the Paddock Super Cruise. Uh, they took part in uh, in the cruise around the island last night. I'm here with Gene Chess, the president of the Can-Am Club. Gene, what's your take on the show? How, how, how'd you like it? Blue skies, a full moon, no rain, white lightning in my hotel lobby, great people from all over the place. 
best show ever we've had here. We hope next year's even better. We're so happy to host you guys and hope you come back up and enjoy this great, great Niagara region again. Well, on behalf of Gene and the members of the K&M Club, you've been watching Long Island Chevelle's TV.